HTC One and are great for sharing media straight from the phone. The 2300 mAh battery found in the HTC One isn't removable but gives the same good longevity. And so, we get to the camera, which is the very same 4 megapixel shooter from the original. These are HTC's patented Ultra Pixels, which are supposed to bring better picture quality by focusing on good light capture instead of high megapixel count. The app itself has obviously been stripped in lieu of Android stock camera. In the conversion, you do lose HTC Zoe and the original interface. The stock Android camera app is stylishly simplistic though, as the whole screen becomes the viewfinder and only a few buttons lay on the side. The settings are accessed by touch and swipe navigations through arches. As far as modes go, there are some preset scenes, HDR, and of course, the photosphere. Quality of the pictures is just about as good as was found on the original HTC One as the Ultra Pixel still do their job. Low light performance is still good, though it does seem that losing the software optimizations from the original HTC One camera app causes photos to lose a little bit of fidelity. I will have a full versus that will go more in depth on the camera, but I can say that the stock Android camera performs just below the original. And finally we make it to software. At least for me, one of the best parts about the original HTC One was its upgraded Sense UI. Blink Feed helped make Sense 5 more attractive and useful. Well, you lose all of that in the Google Play Edition and gain the stock Android experience that many